Uh, welcome guys in our SSIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on merge transformation, which is very useful component in your SSIS environment. And if uh, you want to merge two data sources and generate a single output, for example, <coughs> uh, you have a data in your SQL server and you have a data in your text file, like. Uh, A customer's information in our database same we have another sources like a text file that is also containing the customer data and if we want to merge uh, both uh, data set then we need to use a merge component uh, in our SSIS package okay so before using the merge transformation there are some points you should uh, need to keep in your mind number one data source can be the same or heterogeneous it doesn't matter the data source from your uh, from your file maybe have the same the same type or maybe from heterogeneous sources and data must be sorted in both sort, uh, sources suppose that if you have a two data sources one from your text file another from your sql server then you should make sure that this data should be sorted on your primary key okay sorted field must have the same data type that means if uh, there are two sources and the join uh, join column is uh, your customer id that means it should have the same data type okay and merge transformation accept only two compulsory sorted inputs means if uh, there are more than uh, two inputs then uh, you need to use union all to combine with it so merge have only one output and does not have any error output this is also another thing you should keep in your mind and uh, the merge is similar to joins in our sql server so here i have just created a data source to connect with my database and flat file connection to connect with my text file and i have just dragged and drop a data flow task in my control flow so i'm just click on data flow task now i have to add two data sources the track one is my sql server so i have to choose my data source okay now i have to go to edit property of it and in the added property Uh, I have to choose table and see the preview now you can see the columns close it and ok it now I have to choose another source assistant uh, which is my flat file ok now I before merge the both data set I need to sort the data so first of all, I am going to use sort transformation for SQL server. Okay. And now uh, I need to set the I need to check the data type. So right click on it or edit it. Now in metadata, now you can see ID is uh, a DT I4. That means four byte integer okay now same for i need to do for my flat file i need to sort this data and you can see just check the metadata that means id have the same data type also so this is the thing which uh, uh, we were talking about must have the same data type okay now right click on this sort and check the column okay same for the file row file sort transformation 
for raw data sort right click on it a new uh, sort file edit uh, sort, sort transformation editor now i have to check id and you can see the sort order is one is the same what i did for sql server transformation uh, sort transformation so remove rows with duplicates with sorts values click check on it if you want to remove duplicates click on ok button now you can see uh, we are using two sorts for both input sources now so now we have sorted our data so we are going to use merge transform A row sampling data so going to another transformation just drag and drop it okay now I'm going to merge to row sampling and go enable the data viewer same I am enabling my data viewer here from the row data file and from the SQL server table data table okay now I am going to execute my data sorry my package now you can see uh, this is the data which is coming from my source uh, raw data files ID 104, 105, 106 and the information now this is the data source uh, which is coming from my SQL data table ID 1, 2, 3, Ryan, Arjun, Roji, Gray, John, Will After sorting uh, this is the final merge output you can see that uh, there is null value for which is coming from my raw data file so what I am going to do here uh, in this sort I am going to stop it and ok now in this sort what I am going to do right just edit it and uh, you can see ok one thing is remaining from my end sorry it's my bad ok now in the merge what I am going to do uh, I have to names and addresses ok in ok so click on ok button just going to execute this package again so this is the data uh, which is coming from my flat file and this is the data which is coming from my SQL Server table and this is the merge output which is uh, coming from my raw data file as well as my SQL data table so you can store this output in your flat file or any other destination so you can see it is very easy to use a merge transformation in your package Please keep in mind, data should be sorted and must have the same data type for the sorted columns to avoid any error. So, so guys, please subscribe my YouTube channel to get uh, to know more on SSIS and its component. Thank you for watching us.